Let's take a quick look at the features here on the present page. Basically what we have is you're going to have a drop down box here with your default uh, will be uh, automatically highlighted. Uh, you can actually change your default plan at any time by selecting different pages. Let's say that you'd like to uh, always include the cover and the introduction and you like to do the uh, two page summary and you would like to include uh, uh, arm details if they're available. You don't want AM tables. What you can do is build that, design, design it the way you want, and then click Save as My Default. And what that will do is the next time you come to the Present page, you'll notice that the, the My Default will be here and all of your pages will be selected. What we also have for you is the capability to preview any page. So if I want to look at what the introduction looks like, I can preview that. Now it's not going to be your introduction because obviously that's going to be dynamic with your branding and colors. But what this will do is it'll give you a chance to see what those report pages will look like. And if you select something like the five page summary and you want to preview that, you'll notice that there's a window bar here. So you can get a chance to see what would those particular five pages look like if I incorporated them into my presentation. So this way you can kind of decide what do I really want this thing to look like uh, if I'm going to put AM tables in here. What can I expect? And you're going to see I'm going to get detailed AM tables with payoffs and uh, different color coding there that will help that client. Maybe you're thinking about adding a credit score and you want to take a look at the credit score here and say, ah, it looks like that would be helpful. I want to include that in this presentation. Now, when I build my presentation, I can click anything I want for this particular presentation, but it won't remember that unless I click Save as my default. So I can preview. And you'll notice that the uh, old features of sending to a partner are still here. Once I build my presentation, I can click send to a partner. And this is going to send not the presentation, but it's going to send the electronic information to your partner. So they'll have the same information in their system that you have in your system. It's very helpful for collaborating with a realtor or financial advisor. If you'd like to export this to Fannie Mae 3.2, you can click here and export it to your desktop and then import it into any LOS system that you use today. While there's not a lot of information here to be uh, retyped, some people would rather start with this information and build on top of that. So essentially, when I get to the present page, I can build my default, I can play with it, and when I'm ready to go, I click the Launch Presentation Wizard. The Launch Presentation Wizard is going to build my view of the presentation and I'm going to have a chance here to uh, take a look at that. It should have uh, uh, my picture as well as my contact information, email and website, my company logo, uh, and here we're going to have uh, the different controls that I have. So this is, this is sort of a preview of that presentation from the prior screen. I can go through and preview and see what is this going to look like? How's the information going to look? What would my clients see if I provided this presentation to them uh, at this point? So I can go through and take a look at those. Is that, do I like having the arm details in here? Is that going to be helpful to see uh, their current and, and how these arms could potentially adjust over time? Uh, do I like showing the uh, proposed liability? So think of this as a preview for you. And now you can decide how you'd like to present this information to your client. I can download it as a PDF. And if I click download as a PDF, it's going to go and build this entire presentation for me as a web PDF and it's going to open it on my desktop. This is great if you want to print this for your client, maybe they're coming into your office, or if you want to email them just the actual physical hard presentation, then click the download as a PDF button. Would you like to share your screen? Click live screen share and it's going to pop up a box here that says uh, I'd like to uh, start my screen sharing and you can go through and send an email to your client uh, about this and they can or you can send them to this address and you'll need to watch a separate video on client clients uh, desktop sharing if you have this feature available but this would allow you to share your screen directly out with your client the third option is publish so you think about this you have the ability to do just about anything you want here I can download as a PDF to print or email I can share my screen with my client or I can publish this website for them to view so if you'd like for your client to see their actual presentation as a website simply click the publish button and we're going to ask you would you like to add a video to this publication or would you like to send it just like it is today so the first time I want to click no let's just send it like it is today and you'll notice here that it's going to give me your client can view this report and video if you created one by going to and here's your link 
So this is the link I can send my client now to see their actual web presentation. And let's click on it so we can go through and preview that. And you'll notice now I can see exactly what they'll see if I send them this link. And it goes through and has all of the same information, the client presentation you've just created for them, and a button here where they can download it as a PDF if they'd like to save it or print it. So they can go through and look at this presentation and see on a web basis what you've created for them. Now, you might want to actually send uh, some information along with that video. Maybe you want to actually publish the presentation uh, and you would like to uh, narrate that video for them, much like I'm narrating this video right now for you. So when I click the uh, launch presentation uh, video window, let me pull that up for you, and I click publish, I also have the option to say when I publish that video that I would like to I would like to add a video so when I click the publish button and I say yes I'd like to add a video it's going to run an embedded screen recording solution for you that will allow you to actually record a narrated video for your client so again what we're doing here is giving you different modalities for how you might want to communicate and present to your client do I want to send them an email just click download as a PDF and send it do I want to print it click download as a PDF and print it do I want to share it with them I can click share screen and share screen outright do I want to send them a link that they can uh, view or view with my uh, voiceover and I can I click the publish button now I simply drag my screen controls and say where do I want to record I just want to record this area right here I want to record the presentation itself down at the bottom here you'll notice that you've got a place where you can pick your mic from your different uh, microphones and I'd like to use my my Samson mic and I click the record button and when I click this record button it's going to go in and give me a three two one countdown and go and now I'm recording so I can see the timing below the video is being recorded for my client and the presentation and I can go through and navigate through the presentation and talk to them so their focus is going to be on the screen it still knows that it's me and here's my contact but I'm going to be explaining this I'm recommending this one right here while it has the uh, highest closing cost is going to free up the 509 a month for you and that was important to you and again I can I can scroll around here in the presentation uh, also the wealth impact we're going to save you 60,858 uh, over the next 10 years meeting your goals and objectives so here's what we look like we'll end up with a five-year arm so imagine your clients going to be able to see that and when you're done recording that video just click the done button and it's going to allow you to go in now and actually set that video up all I need to do is say um, my name for this client I'm gonna put in the clients name here so I'll call Joe and Sally home owner and my email address for me is Todd B at xxx.com and subject your presentation so that's what I want to put in there and I click the upload button now what this is doing now is this is going through and compiling that video it's uploading it to our secure server so now we're gonna have an archive of that video in the system and it's gonna go through once that video is created and uploaded it's gonna go give you a link for that presentation page for your client so I'm covering a bunch of different things here but you'll notice how easy this is I can go through and say how do I want to present this information PDF email do I want to share my screen or publish if I click publish do I want a video or not yes or no if I do record your video and here's my link so I can send this link out to my client and you'll notice that the video itself the the, the page that I'm sending to this particular client here is going to look the same with one big difference everything else was the same but the first link here is your video link It's going to go through and allow them to watch in high definition your entire presentation be it one two or three minutes and after they watch the presentation they'll still have the ability to go through your entire presentation and look at the information that you've created our next release will include some dynamic uh, enhancements here that allow the client to actually change payments and payoff targets and interact with the live presentation that you've created for them and let you know what they've done while they're there so the only difference between publishing with video versus without is that if you publish with video you're going to have a video on the first page that the client will see right away they click the play button they get to hear your voice and hear your navigation as you go through and share with them their solution so to recap here let me just close this out 
From this page, you decide what pages do you want to have available for your presentation, and then launch the wizard, and then decide how do you want to deploy that presentation via PDF, email, desktop sharing, uh, or web.